grid. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello. This is a flight 5600 valve. We're going to go through the uh, rebuild process right here. Now, for the simplicity of showing you, there's nothing in this tank so I can move it around easily. If you look at it from behind, you have this screw and you have these two screws right here. Those have to be removed in order to get the head off. This one's a quarter inch. And the other two are five sixteenths. those are off, slide it forward and lean. It has a hook in the front and it'll just come off. Now that will have a motor on it and a cord so you can set it to one side. There are two styles of controls. This is the other. They both come off the same way. Okay, now there will be three screws on the top of this. They're 5 sixteenths. We just simply remove those. All right, now this plate will lift off. Once that's off, you grasp this, give her a pull. Sometimes they'll come out with it, sometimes they'll remain inside, but they usually come out fairly easily. They may hang, you just have to give them a little tug. These come out nice. Okay, there's four spacers and five seals. That's what it looks like and put together. And you also have a valve in here. This pulls out. Now, there's an O-ring spot on the bottom of this. That O-ring generally stays in there. Be sure that you have it either in there or on this valve. Now I'm not going to put new ones in, this one's fine. But you put your new valve in, push it down. These seals go in just with your hands. Push it all the way down. Seal, spacer. Another seal. Then a spacer. Another seal. Spacer. Seal. Spacer and a seal. Okay, you'll notice they come right to the top. And when you put this in, it doesn't go all the way down. That's the way it's supposed to be. When you put this plate back on, it's going to pull that down and force that to tighten up right there. By pulling it down, that's how those seals and spacers are get together. That's how they're tight enough, made tight enough to, uh, to function. those down go back and forth from one screw to the other don't just pull the one all the way down until you get them all down snug and that's tight enough then set your timer back on make sure it hooks and then these two screws will line back up turn this until you can get your quarter inch screw back in there Quarter inch screw is in. And the two five sixteenths are back in. You have completed the rebuild. 
Now this valve, if you'll notice, is missing a couple of pieces. It's a filter valve, so it does not have a cam which pushes this down. That's the only difference. Everything works the same, whether it be a softener or a filter. And it just rebuilt at 5600.